वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टूडे आई विल बी टीचिंग यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द ट्रांसफॉर्मर साइज इन के वी ए और वॉट शुड बी द के वी रेटिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर इन ऑर्डर टू फिट अ गिवन इलेक्ट्रिकल लोड इन ऑर्डर टू मूव फॉरवर्ड फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर साइज इन के वी ए इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू नो हाउ टू प्रिपेयर एन इलेक्ट्रिकल लोड शीट और हाउ टू गेट द टोटल इलेक्ट्रिकल लोड इन किलो वट आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल consider a residential building in order to get a total electrical load of the residential building in kilowatt what are the different types of the load you will have to consider say that the residential building has a typical flats of 1 bhk of fixed or certain square feet so what are the different electrical loads that you will be considering in that individual flat you will be considering a load of your ac washing machine geyser the light fixtures which are installed in that individual flat so after considering the electrical load of one flat you will multiply with the total number of flats so now you will be getting the total electrical load of all the flats other type of the electrical load involved in the residential building is your lift load because lift has electrical motor so you will be considering the load of electrical motor third will be your plumbing load the different plumbing pumps which are installed in the residential building in order to move water from one tank to the another tank then you will also have to consider electrical load of the or nothing but your fire fighting load that is the pumps required to feed the sprinkler system fire hydrant pump the different pumps which are installed then you will also require the electrical load of the common lighting which are installed in the uh, common lobby so once you consider all the electrical load of the residential building consider uh, the you know every pump lighting flat loads you will come at, uh, come to a final electrical load based on final electrical load that should be a demand load not no it should not be a connected load so based on the final electrical load which you have uh, designed and calculated say if we reach to a value of 450 kilowatt for a residential building now this is a total electrical load that is nothing but a demand load in kilowatt first we have to convert this kilowatt into kva how to convert kilowatt into kva divide the kilowatt by power factor you will get the value in kva so the total kilowatt was 450 kilowatt we divided by power factor of 0.85 because we are considering at the transformer side so the total kva comes out to be 529 kv this is your demand kv which is a requirement of the all the electrical load of the residential building now if you want to select a transformer we cannot select a transformer of exactly 529 kv why because there are many losses taking place inside the transformer these losses include your no load losses that is nothing but your hysteresis and eddy current loss then the losses at full load that is nothing but your copper losses so because of this losses there is a possibility that if at the transformer input you supply a power of 529 kva then due to the internal losses at the transformer output you will get a kva of 500 meaning 29 kva is wasted in terms of losses so that is the reason you cannot exactly select the transformer size based on the electrical load so to have a proper designing you have to consider the losses at the first stage only so what i do i will multiply this existing kva by 10% so whatever value i get 0.1 into this existing kva there is nothing but your 10% what are the value i get 53 kva meaning 53 kva i will add to this 529 kva therefore the total electrical load that the transformer should be capable of feeding comes out to be 582 kva now we know that transformer of 582 kva will be sufficient to feed a load of 529 kva by considering the losses factors also because 53 kva of uh, the transformer kva is getting wasted in terms of losses now we reach a value of about 582 kva so we'll have to select a transformer which is available as per the standard manufacturers so nearby 582 kva the transformer size is 630 630 kva so you will have to select a transformer of 630 kva i also add to uh, like to add few points 
the year has multiplied by 10 percent now as per the energy conservation building code and as per indian standard triple 180 and triple 171 it says that for any transformer the internal losses there is nothing but your no load and full load losses will not exceed by 3 percent means maximum of the losses occurring in the transformer is about 3 percent now we have multiplied by 10 percent so meaning 7 percent of the total electrical load we have the capacity to increase the electrical load on the transformer meaning say we have considered an electrical load of 450 kilowatt here so if in future even though we have considered the entire electrical load if in future the client or the residential building there is some amount of electrical load increase even then 5 percent of the total electrical load say about 22 kilowatt the transformer will have a capacity to even fit the electrical load of 22 kilowatt if it, if it is increased in the future so by multiplying by 10 percent 3 percent to 5 percent constitutes to your electrical losses and 5 percent you have the additional buffer quantity if in case in the future if any electrical load is increased even then the transformer will have the capacity to fit that load so the nearby transformer selected is 630 kV okay so this is uh, your transformer sizing calculation thank you for today in my next video I will be teaching you how to calculate UPS sizing okay thank you